All right. Hello, everyone. So today I am recording a video to basically uh, expose something that a lot of people aren't aware of. Uh, Darksiders 3 <clears throat> was ported to PC about a year or two ago, a couple of years ago. And all the reviews or anybody you see online playing, doing a playthrough of this game on PC says, oh, the, the game runs great. It has great performance, you know. Well, that's a lie. This game is absolutely would demolish your graphics card. I had a 2080 Ti when I played this game. And uh, I, too, thought, oh, the game runs great. I'm able to play at 4K with all the settings maxed out and get a constant 60 frames per second. Beautiful, right? But, yeah, something was off. And I knew it something was off because of the simple fact of a while back when they showed off first gameplay footage of Darksiders 3, it was in 1080p, but that quality of that video, the models, the characters, and everything looked way, way higher than um, <clears throat> than anything I had seen from the actual game when it finally came out. So I knew something was up, and I was correct. It turns out if you find the configuration files for the game, if you go to PCGamingWiki.com, search Dark Darksiders 3, they will pull up the, uh, you can pull up the, where the configuration files for the game are located. Now, <coughs> excuse me guys, I'm suffering with chronic bronchitis, so if I cough often throughout this video, my apologies. Took some meds, we'll see how it goes. <coughs> but anyway, it seems this is something you're going to do more and more now when, P when it comes to PC titles or PC ports. Find where the configuration files are located. Why? Because this game was not coded correctly, and I will show you how. So, for example, I already have the configuration files right here. It's under game user settings. Any. When you open this up, this is what you're going to discover. First, you see this here, resolution quality. This is a render resolution slider. When you play the game and go into the options menu, you won't see the render resolution slider in there at all. What a render resolution slider means is that, let's say if you're outputting the game at 4K, well, you can use the render resolution slider to set it to like 50%, 25%, and it will adjust the character models, the, the resolution that all the characters and models and everything in the game renders at. <clears throat> you can have it render at a lower resolution, so that way you can still play at your native resolution you display at 4K and still get decent performance. Well, guess what? By default, this is set to 50%, if not 25%. So when you are actually playing, so all the reviews and all the videos of people playing Darksiders 3 on PC and they're saying they're playing at 4K, they're not really playing at 4K. They're actually playing at 1080p. It is being outputted to 4K, you know, because that's what they set their resolution to, but it's actually being rendered all the characters all the weapons all the peoples the trees the environments everything within the game itself is being rendered at 50 percent of that all right so that was the first thing i noticed i had to change this uh to 100 percent instead of 50 it was a 50.00 sometimes it would be 25 percent and it all goes based off whatever your resolution is here now here's another thing whatever resolution you set in the game it actually is not the real resolution. When you're playing at 4K, you think you're playing at 4K, you're actually not. And actually, you have to set this right here, desired screen width and height. You have to change all of these to your desired resolution in order for the game to actually truly take it, make it take effect. If not, you will actually, you might, this might say 4K. In my case, it's 5K resolution. So this might say uh, 5K resolution or whatever. Let's say you want to play at 5K you'll change the in-game option menu to 5K resolution, and you're thinking you're playing at 5K, but actually you're not. This one might say 4K, or it might say 1920 by 1080, or it might say 2560 by 1440. Who knows? It's random. And then this up here might change from 100% to 25%, or 30%, or 50%. Who knows? It's totally random. So, <clears throat> if you really want to see how Darksiders 3 really looks, and just see truly just how performance demanding this game actually is, 
you go find that configuration file like I did. You go in it and you change your resolution quality to 100% so that way you're rendering at exactly the resolution you're outputting at. Then you go here and you change these values to whatever resolution you want to play at. Okay. So in my case, I want to play at 5K resolution. I have a 3080 Ti. When I was on my 2080 Ti, when this game came out, I tried to just do 4K, native 4K, and couldn't get 60 frames per second. That is how demanding this game was. That's how graphically impressive and demanding this game was. At 4K, native 4K, with a 2080 Ti, you cannot get 60 frames per second solid. And I have a really good system. Eight core processor, overclocked, you name it. All the specs are in the description. So, yeah. But I will tell you this. The game looked like it was the PC version that I saw all those you know, months ago when they first showed that footage at 1080p, but it was an unbelievably high quality. It looked like that, but it was even better because I was actually seeing it at 4K. Um, so yeah, uh, you need to change that. So change this to 100%. Change these resolution values here to your re desired resolution you want to play at. So in my situation for this video, it's 5K resolution. And then the last thing you need to change. Oh, here's something else. This game supports HDR, folks. So if you have an HDR television or monitor, guess what? See this says? Use HDR display output equals false. Just erase false and type in true instead. Capital T, you know, lowercase r, lowercase u, lowercase e, whatever. Type in true here, and you could just type in your HDR display output nits. So, you know, 1,000 nits, 4,000 nits, 10,000 nits, whatever your TV can support. And that's it. You want to hit file. You want to hit save. Oh, yeah. You want to hit file and save. And then after you save this, you want to right click it and you want to go to properties. You want to hit read only and hit apply. Okay. You want to read only because you don't want the game to go in and change it. After you do these things, you boot up Darksiders 3 like I have here. And what do you know? When you go to the graphics menu now, 5K resolution, all the settings are maxed out. I have anti analysis and completely turned off. Low is off. Uh, and every setting is maxed out. So yes, we want to keep those settings. So now we're going to load the game up. And be prepared to be blown away because my Darksiders 3 looks drastically better than your Darksiders 3. And here we go. This is my Darksiders 3. This is what I played the game on. So when this game came out at launch, I automatically decided to immediately, before I even began playing the game, I immediately went to PC Gaming Wiki, found out where that configuration file was located, and I hopped in this game in that config file and made those adjustments. And now my Darksiders 3 looks like this. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Looks amazing. I'm playing with a 3080 Ti, as you can see at the top. I pause. Uh, as you can see at the top, I'm getting uh, only 70%, 68% GPU usage. Um, I actually got enough headroom in the tank. I probably can go to 8K resolution, but right now I'm doing 5K resolution. I'm recording at 4K because uh, if I try to record at 8K, it only does 30 frames per second. So I rather, you know, y'all have a buttery smooth experience. But as you can see right here, this is my version of Darksiders 3. This is the PC version. This is the true version of the game we should have got out the gate, okay? But you had to make it this yourself because if uh, because the developers chose not to do it right. I don't know for whatever reason, tinfoil hat, maybe they got paid to keep it keep parity up with that with console. Um, or maybe they just knew people's graphics cards would absolutely melt if you try to run it at native 4K, even with a 2080 Ti back then. But um, as you can see, I've already beaten this game. I got the best armor in the game, the Abyssal armor. I even got um, played the DLC and got all the uh, extra weapons. So yeah, this is uh, this is how Darksiders 3 is supposed to look like, guys. This is how it's supposed to see uh, appear.
Yeah, looks looks way better than any version you see on YouTube. Because this is the real version of the game. And I, and I just want you guys to take note of this. When this game came out, the most powerful graphics card you could get at the time was the 2080 Ti. I am on the 3080 Ti, which is literally like, I think, 50% faster. And as you can see, I'm, you know, hovering around. I'm at 5K resolution. I'm Occasionally, I peg at 70% here and there GPU usage at the top. Um, this game is very demanding, <clears throat> which means if I'm getting about... 60 to 70 percent graphical uh you know graphical usage out of my card with a 3080 ti you can imagine what it would be like on a 2080 ti your performance would be absolutely destroyed um playing at this resolution on a 2080 ti when this game launched so <clears throat> but with a 3080 ti no problem you get, you can play at 4K, and it'll only be like 30% GPU usage, I think. These poor lost souls. Ugh, I feel no envy for them. If you were any softer, you'd be a cloud watcher. So yeah. <clears throat> The game runs and plays great. Uh, like I said, at this resolution, at 5K resolution, you literally don't need. What would you ask of this humble? You don't need anti-listening at all. This will be fun for both of I'm not feeding you any more souls, Valgrim. Farewell for now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so I just wanted to make this video to uh, to let people know what's going on. This is this is how you really. Are supposed to experience Dark Siders 3. Now, I don't know if Dark Siders 2 or um, or the first Dark Siders uh, has any sort of weird quirk like this. I have to go look at. I have to go check it out and see for, for myself. But so far, Dark Siders 3 is the only game in the series <clears throat> that you have to do something like this with to get it to run and look like it should. So, just a heads up, guys. Um, <clears throat> this is the way the game really is supposed to look. And HDR does work. I do have a HDR display. Um, right now I'm playing on a 77 inch uh, LG C9 OLED um, television, 120 hertz display. And I have enough headroom in the tank at with the 3080 Ti to literally play at 5K resolution, 120 hertz, uh, 120 frames per second, pretty much locked. And uh, and with HDR, it, it, with HDR on, literally everything on screen looks juiced to the max. Like all the colors and everything is just juiced out of its mind. But um, for the sake of recording and the sake of simplicity, I am playing at uh, I'm playing in SDR. But yeah, look at the game. It's absolutely great. Looks absolutely amazing. This is how. It was supposed to be uh, supposed to be seen. Hmm. Perhaps these webs are not an obstacle, but an asset. There were ways to use them to reach that crystal. Okay, so I know what I gotta do. I gotta do a. Ah, oh, I forgot this puzzle. Okay, I gotta do something with it. Okay, up top. Okay, I gotta hit the webs up here first, and then run and hit the switch. <clears throat> Not going to play for too long, but... Okay, run. That, that did it. <clears throat> yeah, this game looks way better now that you've... Uh, now that i fixed that issue. So anybody who ever comes across this video... Um, I'm going to try to leave links in the description to PCGamingWiki.com to the exact page so it tells you where the configuration files are. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to do all that for you, but basically uh, this is how the game is supposed to look. This is really, this is Darksiders 3, the true PC version. This is how the game looks 
Sorry, PS4 and, you know, Xbox One X users or whatever. This game is way too demanding to be ran at, uh, to ran at these settings on console. This is only available on PC like this. Because, you know, because the hardware is stronger. I don't even think it can run like this on, uh, on Xbox Series X or PS5. I don't even think it can run like this on that. I mean, you guys have no idea just how demanding, I mean, even at 4K with a 20, uh, like I said, 2080 Ti, 4K, it was not happening. You could not run this game uh, at native 4K. With all the settings maxed out, all the bells and whistles, you could not run at native 4K and get a constant 60 frames per second. I had to create like a few custom resolutions and run just underneath that and I didn't have any issues. But, um, yep, this is it. Alright, so... But yeah, I've beaten this game backwards and forwards. It's still it's still a fun little game to play. <clears throat> okay. I need... okay. I'm gonna need another uh sword, I guess, to go for that angel there. <clears throat> Can't go that way. But yeah, I'm just playing the game a little bit um, because seeing as how there's so much footage of this game on the net that does that does not do it justice because it's, you know, no one actually knows or is aware of uh, how this is supposed to look. I decided to just go ahead on and uh, give you some a little extended gameplay footage of this is how the, P the true PC version of Darksiders 3 looks like. I'm going to try to get the word out there. Maybe, um, see if there's some other, you know, see if there's, there's some other big YouTubers out there that might have a bigger audience than me that I can try to, you know, tell, you know, let them know about it so they can go see for themselves. But, um, the word needs to get out that Darksiders 3 is a very, very good looking game and it is super graphically demanding. So, um. If you do, if you have a 2080 Ti, you're not playing 4K and getting 60 frames per second. If you have a 3080 and a 3080 Ti, you will, but um, but not if you have a 2080 Ti. Hell, if you, like I said, I'm at 5K resolution right now on my uh, 3080 Ti, on my 3080 Ti, and getting 60 frames, no problem. Actually, you can be able to get um, 120 frames per second, but since we're recording. I don't want to push it. Well, now not that I want to push it. It's just not going to match up correctly. I'm going to let that dude stay up there. I ain't got time for him. Okay. Hello, Volgrim. I don't need nothing from you. What I do need is this. I have so many souls. This is not an issue for me. Alright, so. Got the sword we needed. And yes, you can swing it. But we don't need to. Alright folks, well, I'm going to probably pause the video right here, 
but I just wanted to prove to you guys you this game looks way better so three swords total so it seems it's always three isn't it pardon three keys three stones three swords rather predictable don't you think have you lost your mind no I just hate it when the creator takes shortcuts all right, so we need three swords. But uh, yeah, let's get one bat last look at the game, uh, at the character. As you can see, this is this is how the game looks like on PC. This is how it's really supposed to be seen. So before I get out of here, once again, just to reiterate, find the config file for the game. Go to PCGamingWiki.com, uh, type in Darksiders 3, Locate where the configuration files are for this game. Follow my steps as I showed you earlier in the video. Make sure you save the file and set it as read only. And then boot up the game and you should be good to go. One more tip. You will have to do, when you get into the game, you're going to be in like this sort of somewhat full screen. Like half the screen is going to be cut off or it's going to be smaller. Just simply go to... Uh, window or window full screen hit B and hit confirm and then go back to full screen select it hit B and confirm and, and it'll be back at full screen and you'll be good to go okay um, oh and if you want to play at 120 frames per second there's uh, a setting inside um, the uh, configuration file called like frame rate limit or something set it to 120 or whatever your monitors refresh rate is and you should be fine okay well this was fun, guys. I was glad you was able to check this out. I'm going to upload this, and hopefully the word can get out there. <clears throat> Peace.